Relationships can be fickle things, especially if somebody forgets to put the toilet seat down, but one thing that can be guaranteed to bring you closer together is a great co-op game. And so today on the channel, we're taking a look at a selection of co-op games ideal for couples, or at least a pair of good buddies. All of them designed to test your ability to work together, solve problems and overcome obstacles. Now Nintendo have plenty of first party offerings with two player co-op mode, but as with my other lists, which by the way you should also go give a look here, in this roundup we're covering off some of the lesser known titles. So seat yourself comfortably and grab yourself a cuppa as we take a look at 15 awesome couples co-op games on the Nintendo Switch. So first up we have the rather aptly named Together, a game which I reviewed last year on the channel, and one which sees you on a mission to recolorize a monochrome world which has been decolorized by the evil monochrome. The game is your classic action platformer though, which has you blasting your way through enemies, dodging deadly traps and putting your platform skills to the tests with some tight controls and wall jumping mechanics. But the unique mechanic in this one is that players are actually tethered together and moving too far apart will break this link and split the screen. But unfortunately you're limited to the amount of time you can spend apart, so sticking together and cooperating with one another is a necessity. The game has a nice selection of characters to unlock though, each with their own unique abilities, which alongside some well thought out and often tricky level design add some nice variety. And all in all I'd say that Together is a decent and actually rather challenging co-op platformer game. So Fogs is our next game, and this is one that I actually played online with Switch Corner and we had a really good laugh with it. But the game essentially sees each player controlling one half of a two-headed dog, which as you might expect results in much hilarity and frustration. Working your way through a variety of themed worlds though, you'll be mainly tasked with solving physics based puzzles, working together to manipulate environmental objects and traverse the terrain, as you latch onto things with your doggy gnashes, and wheel your way from A to B, which thanks to the shared character control, usually results in you battling over which direction to move in. Each world though brings its own unique mechanics and features for you to master and adds plenty of variety to the gameplay. And overall it's a really cool concept which despite having a reasonable level of challenge, still retains a level of family friendliness, so it's also a great one to play with the kids. Up next we have Supermarket Shriek, a rather unusual tile which sees a man and a goat terracing the way through shops, boutiques and supermarkets propelled solely by the power of the screens. Now I haven't played this one myself but it looks hectic as hell, and from what I can gather Supermarket Shriek is essentially a cart racer whose levels are filled with deadly traps to navigate through, and players must synchronise their screams to all of the direction of travel, kind of like using oars to steer a boat. It's also another one though where coordination appears to be the key to success. It sounds absolutely infuriating and guaranteed to start wars, but also a lot of fun and definitely a unique concept to say the least. Possibly the most chill game on today's list is Untitled Goose Game, a slapstick stealth sandbox tile which has you terrorising the community of an unsuspecting village as a horrible little goose, or in this case, a gaggle of horrible geese. Your mission in this one is simple though, set up pranks and ruin people's days, working through puzzle like objectives which predominantly involve stealing stuff and generally just being a complete menace to society. It's simple stuff which you can just instantly pick up and play, but the game is also absolutely jam packed with charm, and if you're looking for a title which is guaranteed to put a smile on your face, then look no further than Untitled Goose Game. If you're looking for another charming and wholesome title, then Unravel 2 should definitely fit the bill. And this one is a physics based puzzle platformer which much like the aforementioned together sees players tethered to one another, each playing as a character made entirely out of yarn. 
chasing the glowing spark of adventure, you must work together to overcome the obstacles you encounter. Utilising your Yarny entrails to solve environmental puzzles, swing across gaps and form bridges to help one another across tough terrain. And there's definitely plenty of teamwork required in this one, but I'd say that it's a little more casual than the other entries on our list, so also another good one to play along with younger kids. So a bit of a tearjerker next with Brothers A Tale Of Two Sons and this one was originally a solo experience which had a rather unique premise which saw the player controlling both characters at the same time using separate analogue sticks. A post release update though brought co-op play to the game allowing each player to control one of two brothers and gameplay mainly focuses around cooperative puzzle solving, plenty of exploration and a couple of unique boss battles which require plenty of teamwork but it's really the narrative which sets this one apart as its tragic fairy tale like story follows the journey of two brothers on the search for the water of life in an attempt to save the dying father so tissues at the ready for this one if you plan on giving it a go Back to the lighter side of things now then, we have Human Fall Flat, another physics based platformer which is essentially the puzzle equivalent of Gang Beasts, where instead of beating the crap out of each other, players are tasked with working together to make their way through levels and overcome obstacles with an emphasis on the manipulation of environmental objects. Just like Gang Beast though, it's the control scheme and physics based gameplay which really adds ample amounts of challenge, frustration and hilarity to this one. And the simple act of carrying an object has the potential for carnage thanks to your awkward jellyman movement and the game's grabbing mechanics. A great game to play as a couple, but even better online as a group of eight. So Part Time UFO is actually a game that I had a lot of fun playing with my partner and it's another physics based puzzle game in which you get to control a helpful little robot equipped with a claw crane tasked with assisting various humanoids with the daily wars. Each scenario in the game though has been handcrafted to offer some nice variety and keep things interesting, with some levels having you simply transport goods from one location to the next, while others see you building structures or stacking objects as high as possible. While the single player mode offers a fantastically fun time, it's admittedly the two player co-op mode where the game really shines, as you and a teammate combine your efforts and carrying capacity to move even larger objects and hopefully neither of you cause your constructions to topple. But it's a great little game this one, it has some cute visuals and it's well worth a play in my opinion. Our next tile, The Stretchers, is not one that I've played personally, but I could see it being ideal for those looking for something a little less stressful, as it sees you playing as two medical professionals, with your sole job being to search each scene and rescue unconscious civilians, recovering them back to your ambulance. However, getting to your casualties and then getting them back is easier said than done, as danger awaits in the form of traps and perilous platforming, and puzzles will put your brains to the test, though it has to be said that The Stretchers is more of a casual game, so don't expect too much of a challenge. Between rescues though, you'll get to explore the game's islands in your ambulance, searching for secrets and completing side missions and jumps, and there are also plenty of collectibles and unlocks to obtain, so a decent amount of content for you to be getting on with this one. If you're a fan of Toy Story or Small Soldiers, then Hypercharged Unbox may be right up your alley, as the game sees you playing as 5 inch tall soldiers and working as a team to defend your hypercore from an onslaught of enemies. Now the game's co-op mode takes the form of wave based rounds in a wide variety of locations including bedrooms, gardens, garages, bathrooms and toy stores, and between rounds you get to explore these areas for collectibles and construct towers to help defend against the next wave of enemies, so it sort of has some tower defence elements to it. 
the game also has a really solid PvP mode, and I'd go so far as saying it's one of the best competitive shooters on the platform, having some real classic FPS vibes to it. And in addition to several other game modes, there's also a huge variety of unlocks to obtain. And if you're looking for more in-depth details on what Hypercharged Unboxed has to offer, I recommend checking out Switch Corner's videos on the game, which I've linked down below. So, Totally Reliable Delivery Service is another game which blends the chaotic ragdoll physics and fiddly control scheme of Human Fall Flat with puzzle solving and teamwork, as you and a partner work together to deliver a variety of different packages to the destinations. Much like the stretchers, there's also an element of exploration to be done in it, with you having over a hundred different deliveries to make scattered across a large sandbox island, which amongst other things you get to traverse in helicopters, boats and cars, but getting from A to B is often as challenging as it is chaotic. As with Human Fall Flat though, Totally Reliable Delivery Service can also be played in 4 player co-op mode, but for the best experience, I recommend playing it with just a pair of you. So possibly the most high profile title on our list then is Borderlands The Handsome Collection, which combines both Borderlands 2 and Borderlands the pre-sequel into one awesome package, and if you've never played or heard of these games, they're essentially an FPS RPG hybrid set in a post-apocalyptic world full of insane characters. The game's story is just as mental, you're basically on a revenge mission to take down the evil mastermind Handsome Jack, as you do exploring a massive open world and amassing a collection of ridiculously overpowered weapons, all of which are randomly generated giving you near unlimited combinations to play with, and combat in the game is fast and frantic, giving you one of four unique vault hunters to play as, each of which come with their own skills and abilities to unlock as you level up, gaining XP through the the completion of quests and slaying of enemies. The pre-sequel explores the origins of Handsome Jack and is set before Borderlands 2, and both games come with a slew of additional content, so plenty of bang for your buck with this one. Cadence of Hyrule then is definitely one of the more unique entries on this list, combining the awesome rhythm based dungeon crawling and roguelike gameplay of Crypt of the Necrodancer, with the world of The Legend of Zelda, including its iconic characters, enemies, locations and of course, phenomenal soundtrack. Now gameplay in this one is all about keeping in time with that music, and both you and enemies basically move around a grid based play area, with you having to perform your movements, actions and attacks to the beat of it, and this is actually pretty challenging. But each run of the game has you exploring a randomly generated overworld as either Link or Princess Zelda, collecting items, delving into dungeons which are also randomly generated, solving puzzles and battling bosses. Its unique gameplay mechanics definitely take some getting used to, but as with most games in the genre it's incredibly addictive, and if you enjoy rhythm games and roguelikes, then I highly recommend giving this one a go. So if you fancy in a spot of light strategy, then Kingdom Two Crowns could be the game for you, as this one is a minimalistic strategy game which has you playing as a monarch and attempting to build a kingdom, recruiting subjects to construct your settlements and defend them from monsters who attempt to steal both your gold and your crown. The split screen co-op in this one though is ideal for the side scrolling gameplay, and working together you'll be gathering gold, training and assigning roles to your settlement's inhabitants, and once night falls, fighting off monsters. But the ultimate goal is to reconstruct a ship, expand your rule to incorporate other lands, and eventually defeat the greed for good. It's not really a game which holds your hand much this one though, so there's a bit of trial and error involved in getting off to a good start, but it's simple enough to get to grips with, has some wonderful pixel visuals, and it's a nice change of pace from the other games in our list. So rounding off today's list then we have Vitamin Connection, a game which Switch Corner recommended to me, and one which he even suggests as being a potential hidden gem. 
This one though has you exploring a microscopic world and battling bacteria across six unique environments as both you and a partner pilot a capsule ship, one of you holding a Joy-Con vertically to move and shoot, while the other holds one horizontally to rotate and aim, so some real coordination required between the two of you with this one. In addition to navigating your way through levels, you'll also have plenty of sub-games to play through involving plenty of tilting, grabbing and apparently dancing, and once you've completed the game, you'll also have New Game Pro to look forward to which has you playing as the game's anti-hero, Probiotic, so a decent amount of content and some wonderfully vibrant visuals to boot. And so that about does it for this couple's co-op list. Hopefully I was able to introduce you to some exciting new titles that you may not have heard of. And if I did, drop a like to help others find this video. And if you have any other suggestions which I didn't mention, be sure to drop them down in the comments section below. As I said, I'm going to be putting out a Nintendo first party co-op games video at some point, but until then, consider checking out my other top lists which include family friendly co-op games, local competitive multiplayer games, top beat em ups, retro shooters and PS1 like titles. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more lists like this, as well as weekly reviews and live streams. Until next time though, as always, thank you all once again for watching, take care of yourselves, and game on.